Exporting your transactions, accounts, categories, and investments from Quicken and Quicken Essentials to iBank is fast and simple. First, launch Quicken. If you use Quicken Essentials, more on that in a minute. Next, you'll export your Quicken data by going to the File menu and selecting Export to QIF. QIF is a common file format used by iBank, as well as Quicken. Keep in mind that we're looking at Quicken on a Mac. You can also export data from PC versions of Quicken, but each edition of Quicken is different. If you can't find the export command, refer to the Quicken manual for your version. In the window that appears, name the export file and select a location to save it. You can save this anywhere on your hard drive, but most users select desktop. If you're moving data from a different computer, you'll want to make sure the resulting QIF file is available by transferring it to the Mac running iBank. You might do this wirelessly or with a small flash drive. If you'd like to export from Quicken Essentials, launch it. First, you'll need to review your category names. If any names are longer than 55 characters, please abbreviate them. They can be restored in iBank after the import is complete. Please note that subcategory names, when exported, will include the names of their parent categories in the following manner. Category, Subcategory 1, Subcategory 2. The entire set of names must be 55 characters or less, including the colons, in order to avoid being truncated during the export process. Choose File, Export, Quicken 2007. If you don't see this command, you'll need to update to the latest version of Quicken Essentials. Save the QMTF file on your desktop. Next, launch iBank 5 if it's not already open. If you're new to iBank, you'll be given a welcome screen and the opportunity to create a new iBank document. If you're not new to iBank, you'll need to create a new document by choosing File, New iBank Document. Use the drop-down menu to select Import from Other Software. Choose the software you're importing from on the list. Next, you'll choose a location to save your iBank 5 document. Then drag your Quicken export file to the empty box. If you prefer, you can also navigate to it by clicking Choose File. iBank will now tell you the data it will import, accounts, transactions, categories, investments, and security prices. Now iBank will ask you to verify the types of accounts it detected in the Quicken file. iBank offers more account types than the Quicken file format support, so take this opportunity to decide which type is most appropriate for each account. Use the drop-down menus to choose the type of each account that is being imported. Additionally, you can rename the account, especially if you'd shortened the account name earlier, and you can choose the default currency for each account. Click Add Selected Accounts. Congratulations! You're now ready to begin using iBank 5. For additional help with this topic, see the iBank help files under how do I create documents in iBank?